Hello everyone, this is Spartan Assassin's here and yeah, today we'll be looking out at our last Syrian warlord which is Song Jian here so yeah he's the last Syrian warlord to be introduced from the alpha version 0.51 or 2 and he, the modern has actually introduced him with a new faction mechanic which is called sources as well as new unit units which we'll be looking when we are in game so yeah let, let's just get in game and check out what what does he has to offer for for the turning the type mod all right so we are now in the game all right let us first let us just introduce what is our starting location so we have four commanderies and of course we have the way the communal grain farms and the horse pasture in way itself we also have the livestock farm in Anting and the salt pond yeah, for sure farm so you have a mix of uh, basically some food and some industry which is quite 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 good actually for you in the early game and let us introduce our characters notable characters so first of all you have of course your leader Song Jian and next up you have your huh, Huang He Xiang Ho so uh, actually ask and see the model whether or not this is intentional naming or is it just a naming mistake or something I can't be fully sure but it, you either go He Xiang Ho or you Huang Xiang Ho or something I don't care <laughs> but this is kind of quite funny for me so next up we have our Liu Xin and lastly we have, we have our Pu Xiu so as usual as one of the Liang Warlords, Si Liang Warlords, you have your Tribal Diplomacy and yes I did ask about the upkeep cost for Qiang units it should be faction wide yeah it should be faction wide although they, they didn't put a bracket and state that faction wide but it should be so you are currently on 25 but once you reach a hundred you can actually get minus 15% as I've said for Han Sui and Ma Chao and not sure oh he doesn't have he doesn't provide any Chiang upkeep cost bonus so it's alright it's fine and your starting position is actually quite easy I would say you you have a Oh, uh, you can say that this is not the the best tag for you because you only have one general here. Maybe you need to recruit another one. But your primary goal is take out Zhang Meng because he had a city, and you want to make sure that you own the entirety of Wu Wei first. And this is this is just a the main suggestion because the game starts off you at war with Zhang Meng so of course you have to take this route reach here get him out of the map take over the entire west and next up you might want to go to war with Liu Bao Liu Bao I think so the ping should be Liu Bao um, because 
because he's in your east and if you look at diplomacy he is already at war with Cao Cao, Han Sui and Ma Teng and, and Ma Chao so if, if you want to have a better relationship with both Ma Chao and Han Sui once you finished up Zhang Meng go ahead and kill him and that should help you secure a friendly relationship with both the remaining two Siliang warriors and if you look at your start post you are not a vessel of anyone you are not a vessel of Cao Cao so you are free to actually move anywhere you want you it doesn't matter if you don't want to kill you about straight off the bat you you can still eventually choose to invade Han Sui and Ma Chao it's up to you but for me personally I would suggest that you take Shuo Fang because you you have to understand your situation you start off with these four commentaries you are going to complete this one province and these two are a vessel of the I would say the largest faction in in this start start post so yeah let us check and see overwhelming or some is there any global rank number five so you are fighting one of the largest faction in the north and you are in the west while it may sound while you may seem that you might have a easier time destroying Han Sui and Ma Chao if you actually fight your way and actually won every battle with them you you will eventually start at the point where Xia Ho Tung will start sending his stacks from Chang'an and Cao Cao will start moving troops from Luoyang all the way to Chang'an all the way into Wu Wei and Anting so yeah it's up to you you can either kill Liu Bao or you can just go after Han Sui Ma Chao it's, it is up to you alright so next up is yeah I think I previously never actually did much of the unique uh, unique buildings that the mod actually provides so I think I'll take this opportunity to introduce introduce it since it is uh, much more easier for me to explain it now first you have your Xilian horse breeding and as you can see this is minus 5% recruitment cost for cavalry units I believe it is just in the region so if you were to build in Wu Wei you get a minus 5% by recruiting units in Wu Wei and you can actually unlock heavy Siliang Calf and Siliang Calf from this building four of them actually there is a recruitment and the other one would be the Silk, Silk Road now the Silk Road sadly is uh, I believe it will be nerfed in the future cause the model he himself will also admit that building this Silk Road building actually somehow made Song Tian's income go wild in a way that it went over power you can actually build tall if you play it now I would say so yeah it is up to you to actually build it you, you can build it but I would suggest you build it because you can still get the Qiang units and yeah you, you have a plus 5 campaign movement rate which is quite nice and you have a plus 6 source increase which is like now you have like 30 decay here but if you were to have 5 I think 5, five provinces and each province you have like one silk road building here so that is 30 30 source increase so 30 minus 30 you get 0 so you can easily counter this early minus 30 uh, source if by that point that, that will be the mid game or the late game already so yeah but it's actually quite a new in introduction I would maybe uh, show you all again 
when the mod is, when the mod is actually in the release state so you actually know more about their unique building, buildings and stuff and the faction mechanic that was introduced for Song Qian is Lord of the Sources so yeah that is not not something that you should be afraid of it is just the beginning of a new life you're going to have a new life if you die so lot of the sources you have one two three four five stage first off you have the peasant next up you have soldier officer lord and emperor the good thing about having emperor your source reach to emperor is you can actually have a better satisfaction more movement range and better income from all sources which actually helps boost your income overall as well as your satisfaction because you if you look at your current satisfaction this is on legendary by the way so you can see this is clearly unsatisfied group of group of punks here that that we have actually yeah we have a group of unsatisfied people and yeah there is no change for your uh court position compared to Han Sui which has the spy master I believe yeah I believe he has the spy master and you start off sing you actually start off single you don't have a female so take this opportunity yeah like Han Sui like Han Sui take this opportunity Try to get a marriage with this Ma Yun Lu. You need an heir, but I don't think so you can get it so early. Yeah, so you might have to give up the the marriage proposal. Now apart from the mechanics, the start post and the diplomacy. Um, what else should I talk about? Oh yeah. I, I think we'll just go to turn 2 and we'll look at their unique units yeah unique units because there is not much here that I can actually talk about I've already covered their start post what you are supposed to do actually the game asks you the model would be suggest you to go here as well so we'll now look at we'll now go to our turn 2 and we'll actually look at the units but before we actually move to turn 2, as you can see, we have a... Oh no, I think Song Jian, Song Jian himself is already level 6, so he can actually still show some of the unique units. Uh, it's fine. <coughs> Alright, so we are now on turn 2, and we'll be going for the unique introduction. So his, he has two unique units, I believe. The first is Defender of Ways. This is a, actually quite a good uh, medium spear infantry and they have a raided trait, I believe. What is it? Uh, they have a Chiang training, they have a Encourage, they have Discipline. Yeah, they have a they, they are actually uh, if you were to put them beside a grass the grass will just burn away. They are quite good at raiding. So if you ever want to siege our city level three or level uh, yeah level two to level three and all you need to do is just I don't think so they have a turtle formation but yeah they don't have but once you have a champion who has a turtle formation just put them on turtle formation throw them into the front of the tower and they'll just burn the entire tower down and next up i think do you have the second unit unit let me try and see if i can actually recruit who Uh, statistics all right the second one yeah hold holder of sources so oh 
available rank 6 or higher alright guys I'm going to do some cheating here so open this and where was it rank up and I'm going to put this as push you and this I'm going to put it in 10 alright so we'll just move him to uh, level 14 and yeah so our holder of sources it is actually to be fair I, I would say honestly this is actually the, uh, the defenders of us <laughs> yeah I'm not lying they're actually where 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 are they I they should be around no onyx no 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 this is imperial cavalry imperial guns all right uh, we'll just ignore that so these units are actually defenders defenders of earth but in the unprofessional one which it, because while well, defenders of earth if i'm not mistaken i might mistaken the name but i know that these these 24 dudes 20 to 20 to 60 person they are actually the ones that fire oil arrows the, the bombardments they are actually doing this the same thing but they have around 120 eh, 120 men for just the large unit size 240 for extreme so yeah th this is actually quite a good archer unit and yeah that should sums up the entire western liang uh, faction preview so we have actually seen ma chao han sui and now song Qian. and next up we will be covering the remaining of the Cao Wei faction which is Xia Hou Yuan and most likely yeah Cao Ren and Lei Xi so that's all for today and I'll see you in the next one then bye